My name is Miss Bramhall. I'm a teacher at Bolton School. I've come up with a method of balancing equations and this video is accompanied by a worksheet, both of which are published for the Royal Society of Chemistry. It's called Balancing Equations the Easy Way. Balancing equations is a skill that students often struggle with and it can take years to be able to find a method that works for them. The method that I've developed works every time and students of all abilities are able to access it. The basis of the method is write, check, new row, write, check, new row, repeat as many times as necessary and finally count up. The first example we're going to do is the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water. So first we're going to write out our symbol equation. Remember hydrogen is molecules of hydrogen. That means that hydrogen comes in pairs of atoms. The same with oxygen. We add our plus symbol between our reactants and we put an arrow to show that we are going to form the product. The product is water, H2O. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw a dotted line down right through the arrow right down to the bottom of our page. That is going to separate our reactants and our products. The second thing we're going to do is we are going to write out the atoms that we are going to use. Our hydrogen, we've got 1H, 2Hs and we're going to put them on the same line. The same with the oxygen. 1O, two O's, they're also going to go on the same row. Thirdly, we've got our water. Water's a molecule, that means the atoms are stuck together. They come as a big clump, they can't be broken up. So we're going to write on our first row again, H, H, O. Now we need to look and see how many we've got on each side. So let's start with our hydrogens. How many hydrogens have we got on the left of the dotted line, on the left hand side? We've got two. How many hydrogens on the right? We've got two. We're happy. What about oxygen? On the left we've got two, but on the right we've only got one. Which side needs more, the left or the right? The right needs more. So let's add a whole extra molecule of water to the right hand side. We can't just add extra O's, we have to add the whole thing. It's a compound, it's stuck together. Now let's check again. How many H's have we got on the left hand side? We've got two. How many on the right hand side? We've got four. Our O's are balanced so we've got two on each side. So which side do we need to add more hydrogen to? we need to add to the left. So on a new row, let's add hydrogen to the left hand side. We can't just add one hydrogen because it's a hydrogen molecule, it comes in pairs. We have to add the two hydrogens. Let's count up. Okay, so we've got four hydrogens on the left, we've got four hydrogens on the right. We've got two oxygens on the left and two oxygens on the right. Perfectly balanced. The only thing left to do is a nifty bit. This is what we're going to do. We're going to count how many rows of each substance we've used. So hydrogen, there's one row, two rows. So we're going to write a two in front of our hydrogen in our symbol equation. Oxygen has just got one row. We never write ones in chemistry so we're just going to leave that blank. And water, we've got two rows. So we put a two in front of our water. That's our first easy example. Let's look back again at the worksheet that accompanies this video. The first example on the worksheet was the first one that I went through on the video. The reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce water. If you go a little bit further down you'll see a more tricky worked example. I want you to go through this and follow the steps that I've written and make sure you end up with the same answer as we've got on the left hand side. On the second side of the sheet this is where it's your turn. Okay, so there's an example where I've written you some hints on the right hand side, but you need to fill in all of the elements so that we can get this balanced equation. Finally, 
there are a section of different problems. The first box is entailed, this seems quite hard and I need to practice the basics. These are fairly easy problems for you to have a go at if you found this video fairly accessible but you still don't feel massively confident. The second box, I get this now, I need some good solid practice. If you've not had much trouble with it and you get my method, you understand it, I want you to start from this box. The last one is for those of you who are now an expert, that you've picked the method up very easily and you're extremely confident. This box is called, I've practiced examples above and want a challenge. This might be one that you do after you completed some of the earlier examples. I do hope this video has helped you in balancing equations. Hopefully you've found that this method is easy, straightforward and can work every time. Thank you for listening.